Welcome back to Jitter, fellow listeners. This is the home of spine-chilling, horror content, where each podcast brings a new nightmare to life. Once upon a time, in the dark and tumultuous medieval era, there lived a small village surrounded by dense, sprawling forests. The villagers lived simple yet harsh lives, constantly under threat from marauding bandits and raiders who roamed the countryside. However, the true source of terror that haunted the villagers was an ancient curse that had plagued the land for centuries. The curse was said to have been brought upon the village by a demon, a monster that roamed the forests at night, devouring anything that crossed its path. The villagers whispered about the beast, sharing tales of its brutal, unending hunger, and the destruction it left in its wake. The villagers would huddle around their fires at night, praying that the monster would never come for them, never seek them out and claim them as its next victims. But the monster did come. One night, it swept through the village, reducing homes to rubble and taking the lives of the innocent. The villagers were caught off guard, unable to defend themselves against the demon's ferocious power. Panic and despair set in, and the once peaceful village was transformed into a place of fear and mourning. The village leaders knew they had to do something, and they turned to a powerful wizard who lived on the outskirts of the forest. The wizard was rumored to be wise and knowledgeable, with the ability to banish even the strongest of curses. The village leaders begged the wizard to help them, offering him anything he desired in exchange for his assistance. The wizard agreed to help, but warned the villagers that the demon was not a simple curse, but a powerful entity that had been bound to the land for centuries. He told them that the demon was beyond his powers to banish, and that he would need their help. The wizard also revealed that he had been searching for a chosen one, a person pure of heart and strong of spirit, who was destined to defeat the demon and break the curse once and for all. The wizard led the villagers on a dangerous journey deep into the heart of the forest, where the demon was said to reside. The journey was treacherous, and the villagers were filled with fear and doubt, wondering if they would ever make it back alive. They encountered traps and obstacles at every turn, and the deeper they traveled into the forest, the more they realized the true scale of the monster they were up against. The villagers pressed on, driven by the hope of a better future and the fear of what would happen if they failed. They encountered all manner of horrors along the way, from twisted, demonic creatures that roamed the forest, to ancient ruins filled with traps and curses. Despite the danger, the villagers remained steadfast, determined to reach their goal and break the curse once and for all. Finally, they reached the demon's lair, a dark and foreboding place deep within the heart of the forest. The demon was waiting for them, its eyes blazing with hatred and malice, eager to claim more victims. The villagers and the wizard prepared for battle, but soon discovered that their weapons and spells were useless against the demon's power. The demon laughed, taunting them and belittling their bravery. Just when all seemed lost, the wizard revealed his true plan. He had known all along that the demon could only be defeated by a chosen one, and he had chosen one of the villagers, a young woman named Elizabeth, to be that chosen one. Elizabeth was a simple village girl, with a heart full of kindness and a spirit that shone brighter than the sun. She had never been one for adventure, but she felt a deep connection to the land and its people, and she was determined to help in any way she could. The wizard led Elizabeth to the front of the group, and as she stepped forward to face the demon, she felt a sudden rush of power and confidence fill her. The demon snarled and lunged at her, but Elizabeth stood her ground, her eyes shining with determination. As the demon attacked, Elizabeth reached deep within herself and found the strength to fight back. The battle was long and brutal, with Elizabeth and the demon locked in a deadly dance of swords and spells. The villagers watched in awe as Elizabeth battled the demon, her sword flashing in the dim light and her spells blasting through the air. The wizard stood by her side, guiding her with his wisdom and knowledge, and together, they fought the demon to a standstill. Finally, the demon lay defeated, its body writhing in pain and anger. Elizabeth stood over it, her sword raised high, ready to deliver the final blow. The demon looked up at her, its eyes blazing with hatred, and spoke in a voice that echoed through the forest. 
You may have defeated me, chosen one, but my curse will live on. This village will always be haunted by my power, and the fear I have brought to this land will never die. With those final words, the demon disappeared, leaving behind only a faint whisper on the wind. The villagers cheered and celebrated, filled with joy and relief that the curse had finally been broken. Elizabeth was hailed as a hero, and the wizard disappeared into the forest, his mission complete. But the demon's curse was not broken, not truly. In the years that followed, strange and mysterious events plagued the village, and rumors of the demon's return spread like wildfire. The villagers whispered of strange sightings in the forest, of creatures that roamed the night and claimed the lives of the innocent. The fear that had once gripped the village returned, and the villagers huddled together, once again praying for the demon to never come for them. And in the heart of the forest, a dark and foreboding presence still lingered, waiting for its chance to return, to claim the lives of the villagers and to destroy the land once and for all. Thanks for listening, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more terror-filled content. Until the next time. Stay safe and keep the lights on. We'll see you in the next story.